For this video, we will cover the circular queue. I already shown you the basic queue with the printer network example, also the priority queue, and finally now the circular queue, aka ring buffer. So the circular queue works differently because we use the pointers for head and tail to navigate around where the tail and the head connect. I'm pretty sure you've seen the traffic light and experienced the traffic system. So that is something that uses circular queue to switch traffic one by one repeatedly. This is also good for memory management as we have a fixed list to allocate and as we use, we allocate new ones and this cycle repeats. By the way, the operating system uses this for processes. The JavaScript implementation is pretty easy. So the first thing I do is create a class and inside I need a couple private properties. The list to put the items, the capacity aka max list size, the tail and head to negative one, and the size to track the total number of elements added to the list. The constructor takes the capacity and I make sure it is greater than zero. And by default, I set it to 10. I could also throw an error if the capacity is not passed, but I'm not a big fan of throwing errors everywhere. Then I proceed to create an array of that size and fill it with null. Then I create three getters for the size, if it's full and if it's empty. For the in queue, I take an item and I check if the queue is not full. I increment the tail and mod it to capacity, that way it goes around. So if capacity is 3, I go 0, 1, 2, and when it reaches 3, 3 mod 3 is 0, so it starts again at 0. Then I add the item at the tail index, then I increment the size, and if the head is at negative 1, meaning the queue got its first item at start or after re reset, I set the head equal to the tail, which will be 0 at the first item. And then I return the size at the end. For the DQ, I pretty much do the opposite. First thing I declare my item to be DQ'd and I set it to null. If the list is not empty, I proceed to grab the item at the head index and assign it to item. Then I set the value at the head index to be null. I increment the head using the same mod technique and this time I decrement size. If there is no size, meaning the, the last item was removed, I reset the head and tail to be negative one again. Finally, I return the item. The pick will return the item at the head index and the print simply logs the filter list with non-null values. Just like that, I have my circular queue, super simple. Now I'm gonna instantiate it with a capacity of five for demo purposes and play around. To better show you what's going on, I'm gonna make it print the list with the null values. I'm also going to log what comes out of picking so we see what will be removed when I DQ. Now look at this null being replaced with inserted values. It just goes around as I DQ. It's like the Nokia snake game where the head reaches one side and it pops on the other side. Pretty nice and interesting. And as you see, very simple to implement. Once again, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye bye.